Hello, I'm I'm Lee Sisson. I've been in the industry for a long time, uh, building fishing lures. I started at Bagley's back in 1973. Um, had a great had a great um, 12 years there. Decided I wanted to go off and do my own uh, thing. Had my own company for 23 years, and uh, retired and was fortunate enough that when I retired, I just happened to make the Elite Series also. So I got to spend this last year fishing the Elite Series, and it's been a real kick. <laughs> That's kind of bad to come to be able for right there, huh? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> but he's got to grow up about three or four more years. Go back. Got another one. I got a potential 10-pounder. The Elite Series this last year was it was it was probably one of the coolest um, experiences that I've that I've had fishing. You know, for I don't know. Every, I guess everybody who's ever you know competitive fish had thought about doing some of that, and it was just you know it's an experience that I'll never forget. Um, fishing with the guys, they are so good, so quick to learn, so quick to adapt. You know, it's just really hard to say um, how good these guys really are, and, and the, you know, just to fish with them was a real, you know, was a real challenge first thing, but a real honor because they, like I said, these guys are, are pretty good. One of the things that really surprised me about the whole deal is uh, is just how hard it is and the sacrifices that that these guys had to make, almost almost to the man. They talk about you know how they miss their family. Uh, they talked about their kids, how they were missing. Um, you know, either football or baseball that they were, were doing with their kids, how the little, little girls were playing uh, soccer, and they weren't able to see that. Uh, I know that during the season this past year, there were four children born, and, and uh, I remember one of them was talking about they were going to have the baby um, taken while they, you know, during one of the off weeks, you know, just so he could be there. These guys, they don't do it as, in a void, you know. They, have, they, they still have their own life. What you see is the guys up there having a good time and, hold, and holding fish and everything. But these guys earn every cent that they make, I promise you. It's a, um, it's a really good life, but it's a, you know, it, it becomes a job just like anything else. Probably the biggest, the, the biggest thing that I learned is, is just be adaptive. These guys, um, they, get, they, 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 they learn so fast. You know, coming out of the opens, I'd, I'd usually practice like four days uh, before the tournament. And then I'd have the you know the tournament to fish in. Well, in the elite you have two days. Um, so I was usually just about figuring out what the fish were really doing by the end of the second day of the tournament, which was the, my fourth day on the water. You know, and I was thinking, okay, I finally got it figured out. But the problem was they were telling me it was time to go home. You know, my my tournament was up, and and that oh 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 man, I swear I had a fish. <laughs> um, but but my my uh, my tournament was up then, you know. So that was that was probably the thing that I, that that out of out of everything that I saw these guys do, um, that was probably the most impressive was just their ability to adapt to the situations.